Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to set up the HTTPS only browsing for Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. So what I mean by that is let's say you're on a website and you can see if I click in the address bar, you got the S there and the little lock, that means it's secure. So a secure website means when, you, when you're talking back and forth between your computer and the website, your data is encrypted and secured so nobody could you know, snoop on it and read it. So an unsecure website doesn't have the S and that means your data is not encrypted and it's kind of wide open there for anybody to who knows what they're doing to sneak in and, and grab it. So you never want to do like banking or give credit cards or anything like that on a site that's not secure. So like an example of a unsecure site would be go.com. So you can see it says not secure and you click on it. Your connection is not secure and so on. Same thing about the credit cards. And then if we go into Edge... Same thing, just like that. Okay, so now, let's go back home here. To enable this feature for Chrome, you just need to go into your settings, privacy and security, and security, and then scroll down for always use secure connections, upgrade navigation to HTTPS, and warn you before loading sites that don't support it. So it'll try and make an, a secure connection if it can, then if it can't, it's going to warn you, and then you get to decide what to do. So we're going to turn that on. Let's just close it and reopen it and make sure it kicks in. Okay, so now we're going to go to go.com again. And you see that it's taking a minute because it's thinking. So now it says the connection is not secure. So you can either go back or continue to the site, and then you're back in. And then for Edge, you need to do things a little differently. You need to go to the flags and enable automatic HTTPS. So just copy this, which I'll put in the description, paste it in the address bar, and then you'll be taken here, and you just need to enable it, and then click on Restart. So now for Edge, that's the first step. The second step is you need to go into the settings from the three dots up here, and then Privacy, Search, and Services. And now you'll have this section called Automatically Switch to More Secure Connections with Automatic HTTPS. If you don't enable that flag, this won't even be in your settings. So enabling that flag adds this to your settings. So now you could just have this on like that. So let's say we, uh, okay, so this is enabled. So we're going to restart the browser again just to make sure. So that let us in. It tells us it's not secure. So now let's go back to the settings. And now we're going to put the always switch to HTTP over H always switch from HTTP to HTTPS. You'll get connection errors more often. So this first one, it tries to switch, but if it doesn't, it just lets you through. This one will try and force its way through, and if it doesn't, you're not going to get anywhere. So this one, you won't even notice the difference. It just, it'll just try in the background, and this one, if it can't make the connection, it'll stop you. So let's just uh, close and reopen again. You can see we've got a delay there because it's trying to get in securely. So you can see you can't reach the page. To keep your personal info more secure, automatic HTTPS switched your connection to HTTPS, and it didn't work. So that's why you got that page here. And then if you click on non-secure HTTP, then you can get back in. So it's a you know double little extra step compared to Chrome there, but you can bypass it if you have that setting set. But like I said, if you have that first option checked, let's go back there real quick. For this one here, it's just going to, if it can't switch to HTTPS, it's just going to go through and not even tell you. But at least this one, you, if you have this one enabled, it'll give you that error then allow you to go through kind of like it does on Chrome. All right, so once again, I'll put this in the description for Edge, and then you saw what you need to do for Chrome, and you could do for one or both, and then uh, get yourself a little more secure. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.